Wow, that's a good lead. Oh, okay. I could also came in Wigglytuff, but my guess is they're trying to bait out the Wigglytuff. Should I just hard pivot in? Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We catch a move, that's fine. Um, okay, so they have a lantern check. Wish cash is super annoying, but I need to do something here. Grass, okay, one, two, this. That would have been the better play. Two, three. Ooh, we just lose this one. Unfortunate. Yeah, if we just came in Wigglytuff into the Sableye, we just win. I thought they're trying to bait me out, though, which I'm f was unfortunately not what they're trying to do. To catch a move? No. <laughs> uh... I can't shield. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I actually survived that somehow? That's kind of crazy. Wait, 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 wait! Wait, they threw that so hard! Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna be a shield KO. I need to risk it, I need to risk it. Oh, it's not this! Oh my gosh! Dude, that was crazy. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I just lose that if they just stay in. Wow. That was nuts. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to be covering the team I used to hit Legend. And I was one of the first few people to hit Legend in the world this time around. So uh, honestly, I think a lot of it is credit to the team I use. Uh, but also, I will go through all the various different matchups and how I excelled with this team. And so let's get into it because it's going to be a long video. Uh, I ran a Lantern in the lead with a Mana Buzz and a Wigglytuff in the back. And so we'll talk more about the coverage of the team and kind of how to play out various different matchups. Before we get into the battles, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons who've been supporting my content creation. If you'd like private one-on-one -on -one coaching, scrims against me, some of my lead guides and strategies ahead of time, or even tune into my live stream battles, feel free to sign up through the Patreon link down below. So we're going to actually cover all my battles from a full day of sets, 25 battles in a row. These are pretty much 25 battles I played uh, right before hitting Legend on my patron stream. Uh, so we're going to get into it. You're going to see every mistake I make, all the uh, good plays, all the bad plays, etc. Um, against uh, Night Late Bleed, kind of a neutral matchup for sure, but we want to swap out because uh, usually the Lantern is pretty impactful on the back end. Um, I played this in Night Leaf Lead very differently in uh, almost every scenario, so it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling, uh, or maybe the type of player I'm playing, if I think they're going to make a certain play or not. Uh, they actually come in with the Skarmory, and uh, because uh, they came into a mana bus with a ton of energy, it's actually pretty good for me, because I can pretty much win switch at this point. We get the full Snarl down, which is nice, uh, and then they actually have a Wish Cash in the back. So, uh... Fairly strong into my Lantern, all things considered, but we're going to really chip down this Whiskash quite a bit, which is quite nice. Uh, this Whiskash is actually going to be very impactful for them, for the Lantern, but uh, yeah, they don't know that. So, we come in, the Wigglytuff, it's going to just shield up whatever they have here. Uh, it's going to do more damage in all likelihood than what Nihilape has, but a lot of Nihilape are running um, close combat these days, so it could be a little bit tougher. Um, in, especially into that wicked stuff. So we're going to see what this player is running. They go Shadow Ball, which means that they are completely walled off uh, in terms of charge attacks against my wicked stuff, which puts me in a much better position. And yeah, we're able to finish it off. All right, going against my co-caster, uh, Softhof, uh running Shadow Dragonite. Honestly, after playing this matchup a few times, I actually recommend swapping out right away. You're not really going to catch anything in all likelihood in that scenario. Um, so, you know, I leave with energy, but like, I don't know if it's that impactful. Now we're met by a Lantern, but this is why Mana Buzz honestly is one of the best safe swaps in this meta right now. Uh, it has a lot of play into a lot of things outside of really just Fairies and maybe Bastion. Um, even against Electric types like Lantern, you have a lot of neutral damage you hit. Uh, and I actually am able to win Switch, I believe. This is just a serve, yeah. 
against uh, Soph here, which is pretty massive. And then uh, it could be a superpower, so I'm going to shield it because it's going to do a lot of damage. Ends up being just a Dragon Claw. And then she has a Greedy in the back. Uh, this is going to be a little problematic for my Lantern. So I'm forced to unfortunately stay in, but let's not forget my Lantern has a lot of energy still. So we still have a decent amount of play here. Um, and then she goes for the Trailblaze first, uh, which boosts her attack by just bringing it back down with the Icy Wind. So kind of evens out. I have a lot of energy though on this Lantern. Uh, so it's looking a little dicey. I'm not gonna lie. But let's see how it plays out. Uh, no shields to surf, and then I go for the full spark down, able to finish off the Dragon Knight. Um, so yeah, worked out quite well in that situation. We have a Shadow Gligar. Um, was this Homeside Henry? I, I know I have faced Homeside Henry in this set. I missed the name. Uh, but if so, another fellow co-caster there. Uh, against Shadow Gligar and just Gligar in general, I like to throw the Surf first and then swap. You'll get to the Surf before they get to the Dig, so it's a very free like damage slash shield. Uh, they'll either shield or you do a good chunk of damage and you can swap out, which is quite nice. Um, so uh, they're going to chip me down a little bit first. Great catch, um, the Dark Pulse on the Polyrath. Um, but it's not too bad, all things considered. Uh, I do kind of, uh, probably should have thrown the Aerial Ice there, kind of over-optimized a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Alright, and then there ends up being the Annihilate in the back, which is fantastic for me. Uh, could be a close combat, so I'm going to shield, potentially, ends up being the close combat. So, ends up being a pretty valuable shield, just because Glygar has a huge chunk of energy. So, it could be kind of uh, scary for my Lantern to deal with. Uh, ends up being another Aerial Ice, so we can easily optimize off of one more charm. And yeah, we get the charm down. Uh, not quite enough, but we get the spark down. So it's pretty nice. Okay. Uh, Manti in a lead. Double, uh, double weak to electric. Fantastic lead. Uh, Charger Bug is not the easiest thing for the team to handle, although all three have decent neutral play into it. Um, I'm just going to shield up the Wigglytuff. I could probably let the next one go after shielding once. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to throw the Disarming Voice. I probably could throw in the Icy Wind, because it's probably an Icy Wind territory. Um, but I didn't think they are going to shield. Okay, now, uh, we have the Lemon we want. It, the back end could still be a little bit tricky. Um, probably should just throw in a move there. Uh, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't cost me. Uh, they end up having a Night Leap, so... It ends up being pretty good matchup for me, and this doesn't look like it's a close combat, at least. So, uh, not too bad. Um... But yeah, I probably should have thrown some of that energy onto that man team with the uh, Wiggle Tough, but it is what it is. My opponent is going quite out there. So like I said, these are all my battles in a row. Uh, no clipping any particular uh, clips or anything like that. All right, Registeel is kind of annoying. Fantastic lead for me, but Registeel um, is not the easiest thing to deal with for my backline for sure. So we do grab an early shield. Looking back on it, maybe I should have thrown Surf. I go for another Thunderbolt, which... Probably just not a great idea on my end. It's not great matchup knowledge. Because uh, they shield again. So I should have just gone for another surf. Um, or for a surf in general. And then at this point, shields are down. So I'm just going to continue going for the Thunderbolts. Uh, getting a little unlucky on the debuffs, unfortunately. But, you know, two-thirds chance of debuffing is not the craziest thing. We don't get debuffed on there, which is nice. Uh, finally, I do go for the surf. Can we get it? Uh, I didn't think I could start spark down. So I end up swapping the Mana Buzz. I'm going to take a ton of damage. Not ideal. Um, but yeah, so this is not looking amazing, all things considered. Uh, we do get off two Dark Pulse, though, which is quite nice. And uh, this is... Town Flame's almost out of the picture. Um, we can finish off with the Lantern. So hopefully their last Pokemon is weak to Wigglytuff. I figured Town Flame in the lead... Uh, Lantern, um, or sorry, Registeel in the back. Last Pokemon should be pretty weak to Wigglytuff. Unfortunately, it's Cresselia, which is pretty neutral. But I gotta give the advantage to the Cresselia. It just gets them moves a lot faster, and they have pretty hard-hitting moves. Cresselia is also super bulky, so, uh, is going to unfortunately finish me off. So, we do end up losing to a Town Flame lead, which is a really unfortunate, because it's a fantastic lead for us. But, uh, the opponent played that Registeel Lantern matchup really well, whereas I didn't. Uh, that being said, we still go 4-1. Uh, we climb quite a bit. So I started this um, uh, set probably around like 18, 2850 or so. Um, pretty high elo for this time of the season for sure. All right, uh, we're going against Game Bird. A uh, very strong player from Taiwan. And uh, Whiskash Cash Lead is not too bad. There's a lot of play for sure. Uh, most don't have a very clear answer to 
mana busting back because you know those are usually like electric or fairy and stuff and typically they don't really pair that with whisk cash and lead uh we draw the skarmory which is fantastic that's really what we want in this situation and i typically don't even shield my mana bus too much here we grab a shield which is perfect um but the reason why i don't shield is because uh i kind of need shield advantage for wiggly tough which cash is pretty annoying even for the wiggly tough so uh, having a shield advantage is going to be pretty nice here you can see the charms are really chunking through uh a lot of times they have night leap in the back uh or maybe glygar sometimes i see a night leap more often than not with these kind of team compositions but drawing out the skarmory is huge for me in general uh really sets me up for a lot of success with this wiggly tough um, and that's why I find that Mana Bus usually draws out if they don't have a hard counter to Mana Bus. So, uh, works out quite nicely for the Wiggly Tough, and they have the Night Leap as expected. I'm gonna go straight for Disarming Voice. I'm debuffed. I just want to do as much damage as I can. Uh, it does a ton of damage. I get the Spark down, and yeah. Beat a Whiskash lead. Whiskash lead. No problem. Um, you know, the real core breakers are pretty much just the, the Grass Poisons, <laughs> but we'll get to that when we, uh, see it. Okay. Um... Deoxys Defense, we draw the Zumro, um, which, okay for the most part. I mean, Wiggly Tough and Lantern have decent plays, so I'm not really freeing up any specific matchup. Uh, but at least we get it out of the way. I could potentially shield and, like, swap back out to my Lantern to go for a combo play. I think that might be what I'm going to do, because I have a ton of health on this Mana Buzz. So, might as well preserve some of the health if I can. And, unfortunately, we don't get to the second, or uh, we have the shield again to get to another Ice Beam beforehand. Um, great catch on them to anticipate the Thunderbolts. So they end up catching on the Seax defense. But we do charge back priority them on this next one. So that's quite nice. That's probably a Psycho Boost. Um, no, it's a Thunderbolt. Okay. So we almost simul knock out. Not quite. I'm going to come in here with Mana Buzz because Mana Buzz is going to be able to tank the Psycho Boost much better. Uh, we get a Snarl as well, which is nice. Um... Okay, and then they have the Lantern back. So this is actually looking kind of tough for me, all things considered. Uh, let's see if we have any play. Um, I could potentially go Disarming Voice to do a lot of damage or go Icy Wind as a gamble. But let's see how they do it. They actually end up shielding, which is unfortunate for me. Um, but that being said, yeah, it's not looking good. I don't think I win this one. It's going to be close. I think the Lantern has a decent amount of energy, which is the main problem. Um... And unfortunately, I don't think this area is enough to knock out. So they should get to move. They do. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Can we get the Snarl down? Uh, not quite. Not quite. So close one for sure. But um, maybe my mid game there was a little bit, played a little wonky. I mean, there's a lot of ra random neutral matchups there. So I'm trying to find the best way to do it. Uh, but well played to my opponent. All right. Uh, Charger Bug in the lead is a little bit annoying because nothing really beats it consistently besides the Wuhu Tough. So what I like to do is uh, try to catch an Excisor, which usually sets me up pretty successfully. Mana Buzz has a lot of play into Charger Bug, so I'm not too worried about that. So we do get the Excisor catch. And then we draw out the Powder Snow alone Sand Slash, which is pretty strong into the Mana Buzz. So that's pretty nice for me. Um, I could go for the debuff here, but I figured I'll just go for Disarming Voice for some damage. I figured most wouldn't shield. They did not shield, which was pretty nice. Hopefully they don't bait me here with Ice Punch. They go straight Drill Run. Fantastic. We get the full Spark down. Pretty nice. And I have a ton of energy still on this Lantern, so I could really do some work against this Charger Bug. I think I'm just going to double shield. Yeah, I'll just save this uh, Lantern uh, if I can. Unfortunately, it's a Polyrath, which is not good for me. Oh, yeah, this is not good at all. All right, Polyrath does beat Mana Buzz, especially up shields or just even shields in general. Uh, just because the counter does so much and Ice Wind just starts debuffing and Snarl does, like, nothing. Um... So not the end, not the best situation. I do have almost a surf ready, uh, or almost a thunderbolt ready on my lantern. So hopefully they shield. But my guess is they probably don't. They don't. Oh we, yeah, they still have a shield. So this is not really gonna do too much. Um, they end up letting it go. Oh wait, no, they didn't have a shield. Okay, we win that one. I thought they had a shield. Um, okay, we make that work. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Again, I these are a whole day of battles. I don't remember all of them. But that's one I don't remember winning. <laughs> uh, okay, so Alone Sand Slash um, in the lead. Uh, I played this out in a very specific way. Typically, I could catch a draw run almost on command because most will throw that draw run right away uh, when you're about to get the next serve. So it's a pretty easy catch in my opinion. Um, some really talented players will just 
call you on that and just not actually throw expecting the catch play um, but i think against a lot of players you can make that catch pretty consistently you always want to shield the first potential draw run though because it's going to do a lot of damage um okay and then we end up taking the charger bug out again mana buzz is pretty disgusting um yeah and then we get this matchup which is nice uh i don't know if they're locked in i don't think so i'm gonna shield the potential close combat ends up being a nice slash not the end of the world um we have a ton of health on the lantern left still so we should be pretty good um ooh, that's not ideal well yeah but we have a ton of health should be fine i could just start spark down this down one shot was not enough and yeah we finish it off okay uh it was actually one of my fellow patrons too uh so they know the team i'm running um trevin in the lead uh looking back on it i probably should be swapping wigglytuff instead of Minbuzz. there's always a bastion in these situations i feel like so it's better just to swap in the Wigglytuff, because uh, sometimes Manibus might have more play in the back. Plus, Manibus just hard walls to Trevenant, so you have a much better matchup against Trevenant anyway. And the thing is, if I bring in a Manibus into a Trevenant lead, there's almost zero chance that they don't have a hard Manibus counter, right? That's one of the hardest checks, uh, arguably the hardest check to Trevenant in this current meta. So if that's the case, they probably have something that checks it, that beats it. Right, let's see what they have in the back. Ends up being ugh, Talon Flame. So it would have been really tough in general. I think my only win con there is if I brought in Wigglytuff and they brought in the Bastion instead of the Town Flame. Uh, but yeah, Town Flame is just going to hard wall this, unfortunately, too. Um, you know, Charm Damage is still chunking a little bit, and Icy Wind is they still have the shield, but yeah, they just outpace me and do way too much damage. Either way, we still go positive here. Uh, like I said, this was set number two, so we're just powering through these. Um, Lantern in the lead. It's kind of an interesting one. Obviously, a lot of this depends on your own attack stat on your Lantern. If you have a higher attack, it could be uh, nice. Um, I used to not shield that Thunderbolt, but I started to shield it more often because I found the Lantern is usually uh, pretty useful and also just maintaining Switch in general. So, let's probably just go straight Surf. Uh, they don't even want to find out who wins Charge Jack Priority. So, I'm going to go for my Thunderbolt. I think they're pretty content on just giving up Charge Jack Priority. Or they could have... Oh, sorry, switch advantage. Um, they come in Powder Snow and Little Nine Tails, which is not great for my mana bus, so I'm glad I won Switch. But this is where it gets bad to worse. <laughs> we end up having a Wooz off in the back. My mana bus really has nowhere to go. I mean, not even against a Lantern, right? So, a uh, pretty rough one for my mana bus, but that'll happen. Uh, we face a Annihilate in the lead. Um, and like I said, I play this match out a little bit differently every time. This could be a close combat, so I'm going to shield it. Ends up being a nice slash, which is not ideal. Um, going to throw the Thunderbolt. We got the shield back. And I try to catch a move. Unfortunately, it does not happen. And then they come in Dugong. So this is a little bit scary because I know that Jason team of Nihilip, Dugon, Bastion is pretty common. Uh, I've seen variations of Nihilip, Dugon, Skarmory instead or Nihilip, Bastion, Lickitung. So... Kind of varies, but either way, really bad news for my mana bus in most situations. Um, I wasn't as familiar with this team composition at the time when I played it, but looking back on it, typically they have a really tough counter in the back, so it's pretty much worth just straight up shielding. I anticipated the combo play, so this is kind of nice at least. Ends up having close combat though, so that's not great for me. Uh, so double close combat not super fun uh, hopefully they have something really weak in the back ends up being a skarmory and i think i went over 100 energy i was trying to tap but maybe i lagged a little bit i don't know yeah i need to bait there uh so yeah this is the annihilate uh dugong skarmory line that i just said i saw a few of uh crescent angels very talented battle from japan um going to throw a serve i started pausing a little bit if you i don't know if you noticed that but i paused a little bit between before throwing just to ensure they don't catch the serve no one actually tries to catch a serve but that's just something i noticed uh typically speaking because they have something like a scarmory in the back so um this is pretty good for me draw it out um i will tell us more free in the back um he still has a ton of energy on that fly guard though more than a dig so something i watch out for uh ends up going brave bird and then this allows me to go for the air ways to take it out uh roughly get a little extra energy which is nice and then uh they throw the aerial ace right away so i'm thinking that the wood tough still has a lot of play in the back so i should come in a lantern in the situation could be a baits likely will be a baits yeah 
but not the Ender Worlds. Uh, we get the Surf off. I still have another shield, so I should be able to Surf and finish off this Gligar after they potentially bait me again. I think he's probably just going to go straight dig. Yeah, he does. Oh, he has double dig. That's super unfortunate. I clearly was not counting well. Um, so not great for me. Uh, and then actually has a Shadow Polyrath in the back. So this actually works out really well. Some misplays on my end, but uh, the team comp advantage saved me in the end there. So um, I think if he swapped out right away to the Polyrath, that would have been a different story. But um, my guess is he was trying to get to one more dig and then realized last second he couldn't. So a um, little bit lucky on my uh, for me. All right, another lone sand slash in the lead. Let's see if we catch another drill run. Um, yeah, this is likely another drill run. So we're going to just shield this up. Uh, I think we're just going to both go down both shields. This makes catching a drill run even easier because it's almost guaranteed they throw the drill run. And they do. Now they throw on charge attack priority. They actually get their one before me, but they still throw it. So I, again, catching drill run, not the hardest task, which is a little bit crazy to say. Uh, it is a shadow call alone, sand slash, so my wiggle tough has a little bit more play. Um, this is a little bit troublesome though, because obviously Zuma is going to win this matchup. Um, I could try to potentially pivot out and go to my lantern and try to like snipe him, but I don't have a thunderbolt yet. You can see how I'm trying to swap out there. So this is very precarious because if I swap and they come in the, oh, yeah, they're probably gonna come in low and sand slash after this. Throw the play rough, yeah. So they they do a zero turn swap. Swap in, throw the drill run. Not the end of the world, all things considered, but not too great. All right, I'm hoping they have like a Gligar or something in the back. Uh, should be an anti um, fighter. So Gligar is a very high potential. Could be a Charmer, which is not good. Uh, they end up coming in with a, a Zumro. So I'm just going to try to take this out before they could do anything. And they just quit out. So who knows what they have in the back? Maybe an Eye I don't know. Um, either way. We don't really find out, so it ends up working out. Like I said, shout out to Bell. Super, super tough. Um, honestly, just like Trevenant, I probably just started safe swapping the uh, Wigglytuff instead. I, I just wasn't... I haven't played enough these teams at the time to recognize that that's probably the better play. But every one of these have a Bastion on the back, right? So that's always going to happen. Whereas the third Pokemon could be something else. Uh, it might not be a Wigglytuff. It could be like a Dugong, a Lickitung, a bunch of random stuff, right? A lot of times it is Wigglytuff, but you can see right here, Lickitung, right? So if I brought in Wigglytuff and they brought in Bastion, then my Mana Bus just core breaks the Victory Bell and the Lickitung. However, the flip side is uh, they could have also just stayed in Victory Bell and just beat my Wigglytuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a tough line in general. Um, that being said, I need my Wigglytuff to do something here. So getting energy lead is not too bad. I'm going to shield the... I don't know, I just need to save some health on this at this point. They come in Shadow of Ishii Bell, though, and unfortunately, this is pretty much over. They have two shields, so even if I debuff them, it's not really going to do much. Uh, the Resistant Charm just... I mean, they add up a decent amount, but just not quite enough. Uh, I'm not really even sure why I'm playing this out still. So maybe I just want to see how far I can get. I don't know. Yeah, there's no way. All right, we end up going 2-3 three, uh, three on that set, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm showing all my battles from days worth of sets. Um, so, yeah, another Charge Bug lead. So, again, we're going to try to go for a swap. Uh, as you see in these higher elos, some players are very aware, so uh, might not fall for some of the antics. Uh, but this time, we do catch another Exorcer, which is quite nice. Uh, we draw out the Azumarill, too, which is really nice for me. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good so far. Mana Bus is much safer. Uh, they have a Charge Bug lead and a Azumarill in the back. So both very hostile to Mana Bus. I'm hoping that Mana Bus has a good matchup in the back end. Uh, good non-tapping for my opponent to avoid me getting extra farm. Uh, definitely a high-level play there, for sure, recognizing the situation. Um, and, yeah, they go Exit Surf. I probably could have tanked that, but I was just kind of worried that if they shielded the Surf, uh, my life would be a lot harder for the Mana Bus. And I end up swapping Mana Bus, and they have their own Mana Bus. So, kind of interesting. But I'm unfortunately down a Shield, uh, so not the best situation. I am up a Snarl, though. So, theoretically, I should be able to win this Mirror matchup. Uh, if we play it out straightforward, maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. Um, but they have a shield advantage, so um, I guess it's, uh, they're going to shield uh, eventually before I shield. Yeah, because uh, they have extra shield and spare, so if they just win this matchup, they should be in a good spot. Um, because my lantern doesn't have a ton of health. And my guess is they're going to constantly have almost two aerial ice banks, so that if I swap in the uh, lantern, um, it's 
they can't just like get sparked down or anything. Uh, actually, they don't have two banks right now. Might swap. Let's see. So they throw again. I think my play is I swap now. Yeah. So we get the surf off, which is nice. Um, super awkward, unfortunately. Then I'm going Dark Pulse. Yeah, I think I had to just let it go because um, they had energy on the Charger Bug. And then I was trying to go for the Snarl priority, but unfortunately was able to do it. So um, maybe I should shield it. I don't know. It's a super close matchup. Either way, we're about to get timed out too. Um, I'm trying to catch a Grass Knot, which is not going so well so far. So let's see how far we get uh, before. Yeah. Before I just swap. Um, doing some decent damage. Almost caught it. You can see the opponent actually paused a little bit there. But we draw out the Skarmory. So that's definitely good for our Wooly Tough. However, I'm down a shield. Kind of an unnecessary down a shield scenario, I guess, because, um, you know, I didn't catch the Grass Knot. So. Uh, I end up just burning a shield early in a matchup I shouldn't even be in. But sometimes that's kind of the risk you need to take. Uh, at this point, I can't shield the Brave Bird, but it's actually not too bad. We still get the move off. I don't really know if I want Switch Advantage. Ooh, that's brutal. Yeah, so uh, two really strong checks to um, Lantern. I'm going to just hard swap my uh, Wigglytuff at this point because, uh, yeah, I just don't want to be in this matchup too long. Um, and give the Wish Cash too much energy from a Mana Bus. They go Mud Bomb, which is kind of curious. Not really sure why. Because uh, they had plenty of time to go Scald. But they just end up letting that go down. Uh, yeah, this is really, really tough. The Grass Knot, get some extra energy. I had to be able to spark this down. Uh, it's actually not impossible. But we'll see. We have to catch a Grass Knot. Oh, and we pulled it off on the 1 HP Mana Bus. I forgot about this match, but yeah. This was a tough one, but um, we uh, find the necessary win con and they get knocked out with two shields remaining. So unfortunate for them, but uh, we found a win con there, even despite some early misplays on my end. Okay, we're feeling good about that one. Uh, Shadow Magnezone, uh, kind of annoying, uh, beats all three on my team, but it is pretty frail and they go straight for the wild charge. Uh, I think I throw on charge act priority here, so I should be able to grab their second shield right off the bat. Um, so looking back on it, I probably should stay in and just finish off with Wigglytuff, but I instead hard pivot over to Wigglytuff to try to kind of cheese him a little bit and charm him down. They are still steel type even when they're quadruple debuff. So, um, but things kind of work out for me because I not only uh, almost take out the Magnezone, I also draw their Wigglytuff, which is fantastic. Uh, so my uh, Mana Buzz doesn't have to see it. They throw the energy. And I'm just hoping Mana Buzz has a lot of play. They already have two things that beat Mana Buzz in the lead and in the back. So, yeah. Uh, okay. And they come in Magna Zone. So, I'm just going to throw this energy. I don't really want to mess around here. And they end up having Jellicent. So, fantastic. Uh, as predicted, very, very weak to Mana Buzz in the back. Don't see Jellicent very often. Actually, this is the first Jellicent we've seen uh, all day. But, um, perfect timing to see a Jellicent. All right. Wake down lead. Bastion stay swap. Pretty wild team. Um, but I guess they just stay in against fighters. Uh, yeah. Not great. I mean, I guess they stay in against Registeel too. I don't know. It's very ABA weak to Registeel. Uh, we just want to chip this out as much as possible. Wigglytuff can potentially sweep in the back. Uh, has positive matchup against Lickitung. And then, you know, I'm hoping they have like, I don't know. So anyway, uh, they come in the Lickitung. I probably should have stayed in and chipped instead uh, with the Lantern. Because my guess is their backline Pokemon is very, very strong into Lantern as well. Uh, at the rate it's going, it's probably Shadow Victory Bell, <laughs> is my guess. Um, that would make a decent amount of sense with the kind of fast attack pressure team they're building around. Uh, but I kind of have to save a shield for that Bastion as well. I don't even know what's in the back. Um, they don't come Bastion, yeah, it's Shadow Victory Bell. So, uh, unfortunate. Um, this might have been unwinnable in general, because at that point in time, I had only a, a Wigglytuff and a Lantern for a Shadow Victory Bell with a shield advantage. So, uh, it was going to be hard either way. Another Shadow Magnus, though. This one's shiny, actually. Pretty nice. Um, we'll play it out generally the same. But again, I think the better idea is to just let him double wild, wild charge you and just charm down afterward instead of hard pivoting over the Wooly Tough. We end up throwing on Charge Attack Priority again. So that's pretty good because we probably grab their second shield right off the bat. I think I probably make the same play as I did before because, like, why not just do it again? Uh, they end up coming in with Gligar. So I make kind of a weird play here. Um, I have the Icy Wind but i don't throw it 
I remember this play very distinctly. And um, I was trying to optimize, which was not great. I was also scared they're going to Volt Switch me down. But honestly, Charm's probably going to do it just as much as Volt Switch at that point. So, um, so I'm going to go for the hard aggressive farm down. I'm hoping, okay. Well, they can't come in Magnuson at this point. Because I'm going to have like 100 energy on this Mana Buzz. Uh, maybe not quite 100 energy because I throw some of it. But um, yeah, then I'm having a Pelipper, Mantine. I don't know. Either way, uh, I think I'll be in a much better position had i played it out a little differently uh probably to go lantern this one yeah i'm trying to go lantern oh they have way too much health yeah so um yeah it makes it a lot harder for me unfortunately so did not play that matchup very well but like i said i'm showcasing all my battles so you can see all my misplays as well another two three set not the end of worlds um we're still a little bit higher elo than we, where we started but again we're facing some of the best players in the world so uh, to be expected, these are not easy battles. All right, they come in for Alligator, Djokovic, one of the best players in the world, especially in Oceania. Um, but we do have a team comp advantage, so that is uh, quite nice. I'm pretty commit committed on just shielding the crunches at this point. Manibus has okay matchups against the Skarmory, I can always still pivot out. Um, and it turns out, though, that he doesn't really have a great lantern check. His best lantern check is his own. Um, so... Yeah, we're just going to stay in here. We grab the shield, which is huge. And I get another Thunderbolt off. So that's actually really massive. I mean, if he tries to catch, that's fine too. But I doubt anyone will try to catch in that situation. Uh, so I was going to just throw it right away. Now we have the Wigglytuff. And here comes the Skarmory. And the thing is, with the Skarmory, uh, I don't even know if it wins the zero shields against uh, Mana Buzz up energy. But the thing is, even if they do, they kn I know they have to land at least one Brave Bird. And by that point, they're going to be in charm range. So it should be good. Uh, so I'm just going to throw these Dark Pulse as fast as I can. I just want to get off all this damage and chip down the Skarmory uh, as fast as possible. Probably going to be a Brave Bird right now. I don't know if I survive it. I don't. But we get the Charm down. And then Thunderbolt is going to do a decent amount of damage. But not enough to one-shot the Wiggy Tough. Wiggy Tough definitely on the bulkier end. And then, yeah. We're just going to throw the energy as well. Just to shore up this matchup. Um, but definitely a fantastic lead and counter swap for me for sure. Shout Dragon Air. Not the best lead. Um, but they come in Skarmory. So sometimes I find a lot of times that there's a lot of Shadow Dragon Air Skarmory Whisk Cash lines. And so even if I could win Switch Advantage, I don't know if I really want to because then the really tough is in a slightly tougher spot. Um, but this is kind of early on when I was battling, so I didn't really recognize that line as prominently. Um, I guess I still no shield. Okay. I still end up no shielding, so maybe. Maybe I did re realize that was a potential line at this point. Uh, they come in Dragonair. They throw some energy. I'm going to shield it because if they throw, stay in to throw energy, something's wrong. And they just quit out. So they might have a Nihilate back. I don't know. But uh, either way, Dragonair lead, uh, not a big deal. Uh, again, that Mana Bus drawing out this Karmi is really, really nice for me. Okay. Uh, this is pretty good. They say swap the Annihilate. And even if they have close combat, you can survive one. So I usually never shield either way. Uh, or I, I should say I never shield. Um, and uh, we get the Azumarill away from the Mana Buzz, which is quite nice. And then I'm just going to hard pivot over to my Lantern because I know they're still locked in. So I'm going to get as much advantage as possible. They throw a move. They swap out. We are hard counter city, unfortunately. Uh, very unfortunate for my opponent. But, you know, that's sometimes how GBL works. Okay, another Alone Sand Size, this time a Shadow one. Uh, let's see if we catch an old Drill Run. We're two for two on catching Drill Run on Mana Buzz so far uh, against Alone Sand Slash in this video. So let's see if we can make it three for three. Um, and then here we go. I think it's three for three. We end up catching yet another Drill Run from Alone Sand Slash. Uh, like I said, the strategy works pretty well against most opponents. Um, so in that lead matchup, you can really capitalize on it. Uh, they come in Mantine, which is not too bad, I guess. If they have Ice Beam, it makes my matchup a lot worse. If they have Water Pulse, I just straight up win. I don't know if I really want to win this matchup, though, because coming here with energy seems a lot better. Um, because I have an easier way to handle the uh, Lone Sand Slash. I should hard pivot over, save my energy. Uh, this way, I get a slight energy lead over the Lone Sand Slash. And they actually come in Annihilate. A uh, really good catch by my opponent. Um... But this will force them to shield at least. And then I have energy on my mana buzz. So that's still quite nice. Uh, and then they shield that one, which makes a lot of sense. And they throw on charge like a priority. Also makes sense. I probably should have just gone straight for 
the um surf on that second move instead of thunderbolt but that's okay all right they don't have a great answer to this um and then i go for a combo play a little risky combo play but i figured they weren't going to throw it right away uh oh yeah and that's their last pokemon so i guess it, it, it ended up working out either way uh all right uh we faced this player literally earlier in the same day because uh, i remember seeing their name and i believe they're running the nightlape dugong skarmory line i think yeah so uh i don't know if i've realized at this point i definitely recognize the name but i just don't know if i remember the specific team they ran um so the better play into this situation is once you take out this dugong or once you, the dugong takes out your mana buzz come into dugong with the wigglytuff it's a much better play in my opinion because um it allows you to draw some of that energy away from that uh oh i just hard pivot over i don't know if i like that play oh wait they have whiskash why do I think they have Skarmory? Did they switch it up? Maybe they switch it up. I don't know. I mean, this kind of works out for me. So we end up uh, shielding the Mud Bomb, which is not ideal. But I think I'm just going to double shield this Wigglytuff. It has a ton of play. Do I double shield it? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ends up being Scald. I mean, that Charm is still worth it, in my opinion. Uh, and if this is Mud Bomb, it's not. No, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, we take it out. Okay. Fantastic and oh and they try to catch they don't oh if this thing has close combat i still lose i think i think i still lose oh it is close combat yeah we end up still losing i do remember this matchup well played my opponent uh, i believe i lost to them in both games uh but we go 4-1 in our final set of the day and we climb to 29 20. now you can see i finished my sets for the day and then I pretty much went on stream afterward uh, for my patrons and uh, hit Legend on stream. So I'll show you the last battle uh, that I did before hitting Legend. And so it gave them even more energy. Uh, this person's not Legend yet either, so they're definitely going to be trying to win this. All right. Do they throw on command or not is the question. I think they do not. And I think they don't shit on Thunderbolt either. Okay, they throw right on command. Uh, well, that's not ideal, but hopefully it's a nice slash bait. Usually is. It is not. It is just straight up Shadow Ball. Okay. Not good for me at all. They probably shield this because they got the Shadow Ball off. They don't. Okay. I Clearly, I do not know what's going on in this game. Guzzlord in the back with a Nightlight bleed? That's wild. The heck do they do for Wigglytuff? So they're weak to Mandibus too, which is throwing me off a lot. Um, I'm gonna burn the timer. I might just charm through this if it's like a Gligar in the back, but this is a really wild team. Like Wigglytuff in the lead just destroys this team and they're not even running close combat on top of that, right? So I just don't even understand. Um. Can't be Bastion. Who's it? Dugon, maybe? I just don't understand um, this team composition, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess like Wigglytuff lead is not super, super common. So playing that odd is odds is fine, but I'm just surprised. This is their Mandibuzz counter, too. Like, I'm surprised they don't have anything stronger, which means that theoretically their backline should be super weak. Oh, I, I was trying to swap, but unfortunately, I just misclicked. Okay. Uh, that was unfortunate. I really wanted to get out there. It's fine. Okay. They don't come in Annihilate here. If it's Skarmory, it's just over. Okay. It's actually fine. We're just going to double shield and then just like Icy Wind and then force him to swap, I guess. Okay, they don't swap. So I'm gonna let this one go and then shield the next one. Yeah. Huh. Whew, this is kind of tough. It's gonna be coming down to a spark down, I think. They have a lot of energy. Okay. 
Uh, if they have another body stamp loaded, then I just lose. Let's see. Oh, let's go. We got it. All right. Wild team in the end there. But, um, yeah. The Wiggies off lead would be terrible for them. But it's, it's, it's not terrible, like, um, odds to play, I guess, in that situation. All right. Uh, it says Caleb could build Altaria Double Fighter. <laughs> that is true. You know what? Who am I to judge? You know, who am I to judge a team super weak to charm? We did it. We hit the legend. Before EYC too. Overall, this team, really a lot of fun. I climbed probably the most of this team this season. So definitely one of my favorite teams of the season. Definitely use it while you can. Um, Great League is still around for a couple more days and we have extra sets for these upcoming days because of the go bad week wherever so just knock them out as fast as you can uh but like i said one of the first few to hit legend this season uh pretty proud of my performance overall best of luck if you are still on that grind yourself uh anyway thank you all for watching if you liked this video feel free to give a like and share subscribe for future content hit that notification bell to get alerted right when i post a new video and i'll catch you all next time